got kidnapped. And during that kidnapping, they tortured me, they forced me bleach, they forced me petrol, they forced me other substance till today, I don't know what substance I, I was force fed. And when they let me go, they let me go naked. They let me go with this bag ripped off my belly. They burned me with hot water. You name it, they done it, bro. When I got, when they released me, I went straight into a surgery and I went into under a surgery that was 18 hours. <coughs> they removed two thirds of my bowel. And you know what they said to me, Eamon? They said to me, Eamon, because of the torture that you suffered, you can never have kids. And actually, when I remember when I was in that hospital, I kept on crying and I kept on crying. I'm like, how dare you? How dare you utter this to me? But bear in mind, when they gave up on me in the hospital, I never remembered that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the one that brought me back. So guess what? I got married to a single mother that is black, that is six years older than me, and, and she's a divorcee. As an Iraqi, I killed every culture barrier you can think of, bro. Black, six years older, a child. <laughs> but I got married to her and she had a child. So I wanted to take care of this child like it's my own. And guess what? Three years later, my wife gave me a gift. But I gave up hope in Allah. Completely. Three years later, my wife gave me a gift. And, she, and I opened the gift. Bear in mind, I wasn't the best of husbands at that time. I was going through my own mental health issues and this side, but my wife was very patient. But when I opened the gift, it was a pregnancy test. Allahu Akbar. So even though when they told me that I can never have kids, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me not just any child. Allah gave me a daughter that I've always wanted as my first child. I didn't want a son as my first child. So do you know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala done? Because of the patience and because even though I lost hope, I'm not going to lie to you. Like a waste man, should have never lost hope in Allah. Even though I lost hope, but I was still patient. And in that moment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed me with a daughter. Alhamdulillah. And this is the same Allah that He gave me this daughter who will move mountains for every single one of you here today. Wallahi.